What lurks outside the window, Mason? Do you want to go out and play? Look, Mason! All I have to do is yell, Look, Mason! And he'll come running. Look, Mason! Squirrel! Yeah! Come get him. Where's their squirrel friend? Do you have a squirrel friend out there? Wanna go outside and play? Yeah, you wouldn't hurt the squirrel, would ya? Is that your squirrel friend? You wanna go play with your squirrel friend? Wanna go outside in the rain? He's very wet. Who wants to go outside? You ready? You ready? Go see your friend. Come on, Mason. Want to come back in? Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Mason. It's raining out. You don't want to be out there. Mason. Come on. Come on, kitty. Come on. Mason. Good boy. Good boy. It's a nice day to hang out inside. They didn't get soaking wet. But that would make your fur nice and soft. Good boy. Good boy. You just want to play with the squirrel like a friend. Mason would never, ever hurt a squirrel. If he, if I thought he did, I would not let him out. He, he just loves to play and chase. He even kind of instigates that with the puppies. But then the puppies take that as being playtime, play too rough. Yeah, he, he likes to chase till they get up the tree and then he comes right back in. Maybe not right back in, but he does come in, especially when it's raining or snowing out. And it's been raining for days here in Minnesota. We're going to drown in more flooding. Well, we're not, we're not going to drown, but it feels like we're being submerged into a perpetual lake. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Good thing I have a boat. What's out there? <laughs> Any squirrel friends outside? They're peeking at you. Look at that. He's peeking at you over the wood piece under the tree. What do you think of that, Mason?
looks like Seattle here today. Not that I've ever been to Seattle. Oh, look at that. You're just gonna stay put. Good boy. See, Mason's learning to stay in the house. No chasing squirrels. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy, Mason. The puppies are growing up very quickly. They're twice their weight than when we adopted them a little over a month ago. And they're hanging out in their crate because, first of all, they walked in there on their own. But they're not quite potty trained yet. They're making progress. But not quite potty trained. Look at those cute faces. So we played all morning. And now they're just hanging out, having a nap. And uh, I put them in the crate because I was up making breakfast and making coffee. And I don't want any accidents in the house. The way to raise puppies is to not set them up for failure. And they haven't had an accident in the house for at least a couple of weeks now. And so I'm very happy about that. But that's because we keep tight control. We do let them play and run about around the living room. Um, and we even let them walk up and sniff the cats. Uh, as long as they're not chasing the cats, then it's all fine. And the cats are really cool about it. Very cool about it. I'm very happy. Yeah. And the cats are not one bit afraid of the dogs. In fact, the cats are the boss because they'll sit up high on the couch and bop them on the nose. And they won't use their claws unless the dogs continue to insist on bothering them. But I haven't seen that happen. The dogs have never yelped or been cut by the cats. But we're still being careful because I don't want eye, eye injuries. So, that's a little bit of glimpse in the Frosty Life household. People are going to ask, where is Coda? And as usual, he's probably napping. We have a new guest bedroom. He's probably in there. Let's go check it out. Just as I thought. Here he is. He is awake, though. Well, that's because I came in and woke him up. But he also will hang out and watch the outdoors. Watch all the nature going by out there outside the window. We have tons of finches this year. And he occasionally licks wood. I don't know. <laughs> I just made that up. I don't know why he's licking the sill. Because he's a silly cat. Haha. <laughs> Dad joke. Thanks for watching Frosty Life.